Hello, class five. How are you? Mm, I'm fine, thank you. And this is lesson thirteen. One, three. In this lesson, we will go on with the personal questions because we only did section one, two, three, and four. Yeah, we spoke about our house, our foods, our family. Yeah, and today we're going to see section five and six. They are the school, my school, and my clothes. Yeah, of course, your school and your clothes. That's it. Yeah, personal questions about your school and about your clothes. They are 10 questions about your school and 11 questions about your clothes. Let's look at them one by one. I will answer. You will write down your answers, the answers about you, of course. So, question number one. What's in your classroom? In this question, you have to answer using there is and there are. There is is for singular items like uh, uh, one interactive board or you can say uh, one computer or one uh, door and there are as for plural items like chairs, desks, cupboards. So in my classroom there is a uh, 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 and a uh. And there are, da, 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 da. okay, it's a list of things you remember. Then, question number two. Who do you sit next to in your classroom? Here you have to remember um, who uh, was sitting next to you, a boy or a girl. So, uh, in my classroom, I sit next to the name of the girl and the name of the boy, if you have got one, one person here and one person there, or just one child, but here they want to know a name. So, in my classroom, I sit next to, and you say, the name. Let's move on to question number three. How many lessons do you have? With how many you want to answer, you have to answer with a number. But this can be quite difficult. Let's um, consider lessons like hour. So in every morning you have five lessons, okay? But uh, there is one afternoon where you have the long day, as we call it, you have lessons in the afternoon too. So I suggest you to answer in the morning. I usually have five lessons, but on, uh, when is the, the long day? Wednesdays or Thursdays? But on Thursdays, I have uh, three lessons in the afternoon too. You could say this. Remember this. Two, two means this, okay? So, uh, one day I have lessons in the afternoon too. In the long day, you are at school in the morning and in the afternoon. So, you have five lessons in the morning, then you have lunch, with your friends and with the teacher and then you have uh, well after lunch you have two lessons yeah of course and then you go home at um, 10 past 4 or 20 past 4 okay let's see now um, question number five 
how do you come or go to school? And this, of course, is a question to ask you if you go by car or by bus, by bike or on foot. So when you answer, you should say, I usually go to school. Do you remember what is usually? I will write it here. Usually is what you do every day. Okay. So um, that could be this one. So, yeah, I usually go to school by car. Maybe one day I could go by bike, but usually, I usually go by car. Ah, but this is me. Maybe you usually go on foot. And once in a while, sometimes you go by car. Okay, let's see the others. This is question number five. Where do you go? Where do you do your homework? Where do you do your homework? Here you should answer with a room in your house because I suppose that you do your homework at home. Well, you could say, I usually do my homework at home in my living room or in my kitchen, in my bedroom, whatever. So this is what usually happens. Or maybe you usually do your homework at school after the morning lessons because you stay at school. So you answer about you. And let's see question number six. Question number six is which is your favorite school day and why? Yeah, here you speak about what you think. My favorite school day is, uh, I don't know. Friday because it's the last one or maybe for you uh, it could be the long day because you like playing in the playground or because you eat with your friends this is your choice so my favorite school day is uh, day one that choose the words or whatever because and then you say okay then let's see Let's see uh, question number seven. Tell me about your English teacher. Oh, it's me. <laughs> so please say good things. But anyway, you have to describe how I look like. So my English teacher, oh, you could say my name. Uh, her name is, and then she is tall or short. She's thin or fat. And she's got brown eyes. Look, my eyes are brown. And she's got long brown, uh, long and curly hair. Whatever. Describe me. And eight. What's your favorite school subject? My favorite school subject is English. And your favorite, favorite school subject is English too, I suppose. Well, but anyway, anyway, it could be history, geography, Italian, maths, uh, religion, um, PE, physical education, music, art, whatever. But my favorite school subject is, yeah. Now, question nine. What do you like doing? You see, in at school. At school, I like playing with my friends. At school, I like drawing. At school, I like reading. You write what you want, but remember, ing. I like, and then ing. Then, question number 10. Who is your favorite teacher? You could say that your favorite teacher is uh, the English teacher or the Italian teacher, or you could write the name. My favorite teacher is, uh, and then the name. Okay, and this was the section about your school. Let's move on now to section five about the clothes you wear. Okay, what clothes are you wearing now? Here you have to describe yourself. I am wearing a blue t-shirt, a red uh, sweater and blue jeans. Ah, you can't see that, but this is my leg. You see my leg? I'm wearing blue jeans and uh, training shoes, but 
this is you. And you will speak about yourself. Question two, what do you wear at home? Here, please say what you usually wear at home. At home, I usually wear um, a comfortable uh, sweater, trousers, and I don't know, what you usually wear at home. And let's go on. This is question number three. What do you wear when it's wet? Wet it means when it rains, um, when it's not so sunny. Yeah, the opposite actually. So, when it's wet, I usually wear a raincoat or a, a, a sweater uh, or a hat. I don't know. And what? Do you wear when it's cold? Again, please write usually. When it's cold, I usually wear a big sweater or a scarf, a hat, a coat, whatever. And now the following question here, what don't you wear when it's cold? So these are the things that you would not wear when it's cold. When it's cold, I usually don't wear a swimsuit or a t-shirt or shorts or a skirt for a girl. Okay? Yeah, you can think about it. Or sandals. Yeah. And question six, what do you wear when it's hot? When it's hot, I usually wear a t-shirt or shorts or uh, um, a hat or sunglasses. This is what you usually wear. And seven, what don't you wear when it's hot? Uh, when it's hot, I uh, usually don't wear um, um, a coat or a sweater or a tr long trousers um, or a, a woolly hat, something, or a scarf. Yeah, of course. And number nine, not number eight, number eight. What color are your favorite clothes? My favorite clothes are blue, if you like blue, red, if you like red, you actually write the color of, uh, well, your favorite color. And my favorite clothes, of course, are blue because I like blue, but this is me. So you speak about you, please. And number, oh, number seven. I had eight, and I got number seven. Maybe this is number nine. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, where do you get dressed? Well, I can see it now. Okay, now it's number nine. Where do you get dressed? Uh, please tell me in which room you get dressed. So maybe in your bedroom. I usually get dressed in my bedroom or in the bathroom, I don't know. Then let's see, um, question 11, 10. What is the last thing you put on in the morning? If it's winter, um, the last thing I put on in the morning is my coat or my shoes. If it's summer, maybe just the shoes. And um, now question 11, where do you put your clothes at night? At night, I usually put my clothes on my chair or in the uh, cupboard or on the desk, I don't know. And number 12, where do you buy your clothes? I usually buy my clothes in the town center or in, in Florence or uh, in a shop called, and then you can write the name of the shop. And the last question, I have to go quickly, is who buys your clothes? Uh, here you write who in the family buys your clothes. My mom buys my clothes, or my dad, or my grandma, or my grandpa, whatever, buys my clothes. Or my parents, plural, buy my clothes. Okay, the lesson is finished, I hope. You liked it, and let's sing the final song. Bye bye.